Bruce, what do you feel like made the difference in just not being able to quite get over the hump tonight? Well, I, you know, one, you spot them. Uh, they're very good. Uh, I told Scott way back in the summer, I told him in the fall, I thought he had a chance to be special. Uh, when they lost Kegler, I thought, uh, and then Clark gets hurt. But I didn't realize how good um, Teague and Mitchell were. And then he's done a great job of getting them to guard and to buy into it and share the basketball. They great ball movement. Um, and so, you you know, they came out and just kind of were very physical with us early. We didn't – you turn it over five times in that first stretch. You spot – what, it's 22 to six or whatever. And then you get it back. They don't score. We, You know, and I, I told the guys at that time out, the only way you're going to have a chance is to guard the heck out of them. And I thought we had five, six minutes where we guarded the heck out of them. Um, and we took care of the ball. Obviously, it helps to make a few shots. You know, you cut it 22-17, but then a couple loose balls, long rebounds, boom, boom. One turnover led to another, you know, those points off turnovers. And and then even at the at the end of the half, days or Xavier makes the great dunk, great play, shot fake, drives it, but we're celebrating instead of getting back and finish the half. And you know, to their credit, uh, they made the play. Um, didn't not great, kind of a stalemate to start second half. We just didn't score. I don't. They only scored. I think only a little. Maybe I'm wrong, but you know, but they extended the lead. And you know, again, it was we have good stretches, nine zero, eight zero. But then they kind of come back at us, uh, 7 0. And, you know, just some little plays. Uh, we had a, at one time, we a couple more free throws, a loose ball, um, finish, make an open three. They made the three, and we didn't. And, you know, we, again, we battled them. Good. We scored more points against them than anyone else in the league. Um, shot a good percentage, you know, pretty good. Just too many turnovers. And then just a few breakdowns on defense when it really counted. Yeah, Coach, just general thoughts on X's game to get 23-8 against. It was, great. It was against... good to see him get back going. I told him yesterday, I, I talked to the whole team, but I hope he understood I was talking to him. When you when you, you can have your own pity party when you're not shooting the ball well or you can do something about it and you got in the gym. I said, if, if I'm you and I haven't made – I didn't say if I'm one of you and you, you're struggling, the only way I know to get out of it is get back in the gym and get your weighted ball shooting, your form shooting. To X's credit, he came in this morning. On his own shot, good things happen. And, and, and I love, too, he got rebounds. That, that was really, really crucial for us because they're a good rebounding team. Um, but, you know, he's done some really good things here. I know it's uh, been a frustrating year uh, for him, but uh, I hope he doesn't lose faith and he keeps battling and, and we find a way to make a little bit of a run here in the second half of the season. It seems like it's been a gradual pro process with the inside game, you know, with Mac Murray and uh, Murphy and Stockard and um, Gordon. And I was just curious tonight, you, the inside game scores 25 points, yeah. most against a Big 12 opponent. How did you feel it was able to I, do tonight? You know, they – and we talked about it. I only talked to our coaches a minute or two after. But, you know, you look at the stats, we got to start looking to them. And, and you know, our players – Max struggled. You guys know it. You guys brought it up all the time. Levi struggled. They struggle catching. They struggle finishing. But I think they've made progress. And Mac, you know, again, 10 and 8 uh, against pretty good guys and physicality. Um, you know, Montavious said, you know, good effort, 10 points, you know, 3 for 4, 3 for 3 free throw line for a freshman and a number one team in the country. Obviously, I like some more rebounds from him. I thought Antonio for sitting out. Uh, came back and, and really played with some good energy and battled. Um, and even Levi, he just, you know, he, he, he did some good solid things for us. So uh, I think it's one thing we got to make sh now that hopefully we get some consistency. It's been a, pro a process. Mm -hmm. You know, it seems like we get one guy making some progress. Now another guy, hopefully, if they continue making progress, definitely got to look inside. I called a couple plays early to get it to him. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, the only thing with Mac is just the turnovers. Either either shoot it or throw it out. Don't don't sit there. And and that would be, you know, if he can do that, he makes some progress. Just as a follow up on on Mac, it's third time in five games he scored double figures. What what's what's working for him right now? Is I don't know Xavier. Maybe this is his mindset, his energy. You know, he's just playing hard. You know, he's just and it's it's better. He's talking. He's happy. 
uh, I think all three of these, you know, the three older guys, it, it, high expectations, lots of pressure, you know, obviously didn't go perfect, uh, had to fight through it, you know, to max credit and hopefully Xavier, and even Cardi, you know, just that they can make some progress and have a great finish. Xavier, how upsetting was it that, you know, every time you guys got within three, four, five points, whatever, they would kind of hit that big shot, kill your momentum, things like that. How tough was it to overcome? Uh, on the court, you know, it's tough. Uh, you see one go down for them, but it was just always that next play mentality for us. We knew uh, every possession was going to be a war. So we, I even told the team before before the game, it was going to be a point where either we're up, down, up five or down five, and we just got to uh, coach keyword today, just sustain, just uh, be able to keep up our energy and our motion. We'll be all right, but I'm just going to get it done today. Xavier, you feel like you guys are taking advantage of every transition opportunity you're presented with? Uh, it's been a key for coach, getting transition, getting the easy buckets for us, getting uh, a lot of easy ones. Uh, sometimes we, we do not make the right pass, uh, but but we have, uh, but today we had only 13. We got to have more on transitions, especially just uh, getting out and get, get easy turnovers for the other team. And Bruce, what are you looking at as far as transition opportunities are concerned? Well, it's, it's a fine line. I, I want to give them freedom and let them play and, and push it. But then, like Xavier said, they got to make the right play. We had two on one. You know, I, I mean, I know the lob is great, but boom, make the bounce pass, get the layup. And, and I don't know what the score was there, seven, eight points. And, you know, those are the little plays that, uh, that make a big difference. So, it, it, um, you know, it, we just, we, you know, they have 20-13. That's the difference in the game when you look at it. Points off turnover, 16-13. to 13. And a lot of that was for them was early. So, uh, they, you know, just – Making, you know, 16 turnovers, if you're going to beat that team, it's probably got to have 11, 12. You know, it's just those extra possessions, they take advantage of them, and uh, that's probably the difference in the game. Bruce, do you feel like you're still searching for the right combinations at certain points of the game? I think game? we've made progress, uh, but it's it, we just got to get everybody. West Virginia, obviously, at, at home, thought we had everybody contribute. You know, today we had probably four or five guys contribute pretty good, you know, pretty good consistency and maybe another couple okay and then we didn't have a couple other guys. So and then in other games it's somebody else and, and that's, you know, you don't have to be perfect, but you, you, you got to bring some consistency to it, both ends of the court. Xavier, how tough were the last couple of games just with some of the shooting struggles? Uh, for me, just thinking next shot, you know, don't worry, don't worry about the last one, don't dwell on the last one, just think about making the next one. How much does tonight help get your confidence back in that regard? Uh, definitely helps out a lot. So the ball goes through the hoop. Got some easy ones on early. So it just helps me out a lot when I do that. Yeah, Coach, these last six, you've played West Virginia twice, Baylor, KU, Oklahoma, and Alabama. Yeah. Uh, two and four is not a great record. But how do you think you've played through those six uh, games? We've, we've gotten better. And I'm not sure it shows on the record, but uh, we have gotten better. We're, again, you know, you, you don't get – any reward for being close and you know it's 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 a shame it's a few plays it's a little t more better toughness consistency you know all that stuff execution I thought when we executed tonight it was pretty you know it's just then then we have lapses and then you know it's just uh, you know that's that's probably the difference but you know it, it definitely has been a tough stretch now and this is key. We're, we're giving them off basically two days, no basketball. And uh, get refreshed. And you got heading into that second half of the league and see what we can do. Uh, got to get a road win first. And that's at Iowa State. And that's important. Xavier, what's it going to take for this team to close out the second half of league play right like your coach is talking about? Uh, just execute and be tough in those moments. That we're Like I said, uh, we're going to be up five, down five. And we got to be tough in those moments and uh, grit out a good win. And Coach, uh, I want to get your reaction to this. I guess Fran Fraschilla on the telecast today said something along the lines of Cartier Jada's mindsets may be in the wrong place, thinking about next year playing pro down the line and not focusing on right now. What, what do you think about that comment? Well, I think that's it's it's tough for all young men that are going into their senior year because they're worried about their you know they're worried about the future and and we've talked about it with all all our guys. You 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 can't worry about yesterday you can't worry about tomorrow you got to worry about today and you know it's 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 really a tough thing um, 
you know, I, 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 you know, it's just, it's, it's to deal with that, the future, the expectations. I, 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 I love these guys. I want them to be successful. I want them to be, but I want, also want them to, you got to earn that. And you do that through what you do daily and things, whatever is going to happen, it's going to happen. And, and that's, it's hard for kids to see that. Uh, because there's so much noise, so many people talking to them, and it makes it hard. It's it's not just Cardi; it's it's a lot of kids in the country. Xavier, just quick comment on the inside game and where it can go going forward after tonight. All those guys did a good job, like I said, sealing, and it's just got to be us guards looking to get it into them. Uh, like you said, they created about 25 points today, most they had in a while. So you got to keep looking for those guys, and those guys are doing a great job. Like I said, it's healing, getting open, and just got to finish. Keep working on finishing. Bruce, it was during that one stretch in the first half where you guys were down 22 to 6, and then you went on the 11 0 run, and then they snapped it on that possession where they got two offensive rebounds. Rebound. Just how, how frustrating is that that they didn't make like a play? It was just that you guys weren't able to. Yeah. Uh, we actually defended well. It was just, uh, you know, that those are the plays that make a difference, especially against a good team. You know, that, that you know, and it's just, it's disappointing. And, but to their credit, they that's what they do. They take advantage when you make a mistake or they, the hustle play. and. Uh, you know, it, it's 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 tough because we had such a good stretch and we defended them well on those possessions. And we come down, and I, I talked to them about body language, and you know, you you got to make the next play. And you know, I think we came down and turned it over, and that's when they got a layup. So now it got back up, but we didn't quit. We came right back. And and Xavier, unbelievable dunk. You know that it was great. You know, shot fake, got to the hoop. Uh, you know, but now don't celebrate. <laughs> Get back, stop them. Go into the halftime with good momentum instead of them feeling good. Uh, Bruce, have you had conversations along those lines with Cardi about what you were just talking about? I've talked to all these guys the whole year about worry about today, <laughs> worry about today, worry about every day, get better. I mean, I, I told Xavier today, smile. Take a deep breath, enjoy it. You know, you only get to do it once. You can't control what's coming after. It's gonna take care of itself if you control today. And that, I mean, that, that, that's, I've talked to them about it all, every, I don't know about every day, but a lot of days since, since we started in the fall. <laughs> Bruce, is Baylor the best team in the country? Oh, I don't think there's any doubt. You got 19 in a row, and the one they lost was they led most basically a whole game in Washington, you know, a couple plays. And, uh, you know, I, I, I got to give them credit. They've sustained it so far to go 9 and 0 in our league. Now a second round, we'll see. You know, and, and, uh, and they've won at some pretty tough places so far. And that uh, got to give them a lot of credit. They, their mental toughness and physical toughness is, is elite right now. And uh, they don't seem, I don't know on the inside, but their, ego, their egos are pretty good in check, it looks like. I mean, some of those plays, it's not, one, you know, boom, pass, boom, pass, boom, pass, open shot, happy. You? you know, Gillespie, you know, that's, that's like, a, and he didn't play as well as he has, but, uh, I mean, that, that dude, that's an amazing story. And then to have Clark come in, who was all conference coming off the bench, so, uh, they got, they get, it's a, it's a good nucleus. Uh, I said, I told Scott before, I thought they were going to be really good. And they, so far they've lived up to it. What about you, Xavier? Do you think that's the best team you've played? No comment. <laughs> Anything else for these guys? Oh. Bruce, I know it's, it's frustrating to have I have to ask all these questions after the, these, these close losses. But, I mean, just what can you say about this team continually at least? It's just, I just would think it would be so easy for a team to want to give up when you've had this many close losses. But it just seems like you guys never stop fighting in any game that you're in. No, it, it's it give credit to them, give credit to Xavier, um, especially Pearson McAtee has done a great job helping Xavier with leadership and keeping them going. Um, you know, our staff has done, you know, I, and I, I, 
I've had to bite my tongue. I, I yelled a couple of weeks ago after Alabama in, in the airport after. I was just really disappointed because we, I thought we fought so hard and then we just didn't play very smart in that stretch. And, uh, but I think they listened. And, and I, again, I, I can't go bashing them, uh, you know, and especially since they play hard. I got after them in a huddle today more because it's defensive mistakes and hustle mistakes and things like that. But, uh, you know, they've come back. They have, they, you know, to their credit, they have not quit. Um, you know, and I just hope we keep telling them, Coach Corn told them before, you're going to be rewarded if you keep keep the faith and you keep battling. Good, something good will happen, and I hope for their sake something good happened for Savior today, Mac today, you know, a couple other guys. But uh, now, now it's, we got to get it as a as a team.